morning, everyone. I just wanted to pop on because I got a request from one of you lovely people to um, try out the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and do a review on that. And I have to say that was on my list as well. And I just wanted to pop on and give you a quick little look because I just got back from Sephora. Okay guys, this is the monster that is always barking in the background. So I just wanted to introduce you to her. This is Satchmo. And yes, I'm obsessed. She is my baby. Um, <laughs> but she's annoying as well, but she's so cute. So anyways, I just wanted you to um, actually see who the culprit was. So um, I try to edit it out, but sometimes I'm not always able to. But anyways, let's get back to the subject at hand. I know, Whew. Okay, so I was at Sephora and um, I went in there to get the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. And she actually ended up putting it on me because they are sold out of pretty much all of the colors that I would be. She tried 220, 230, and 240 in that shade range. And then we came up with, we thought 240 was the best. But I have to tell you, so she put this on and I wanted to just pop on. I'm going to do a whole review review, but I wanted to tell you, um, get, pop on and show you what it looks like so far. Um, so I'm kind of liking it. It says that it's a full coverage foundation and it also says that it's like semi matte. So I wasn't, I was on the fence. The one thing I did like is that it actually has clean ingredients in this foundation um of course i'm a huge beauty blender fan um but i i was kind of surprised at the formulation of it um it's it isn't completely a hundred percent a clean brand but it is has a lot of the naughties out of it um so anyways i was laughing because i've been like oh i can probably pass on that foundation but then when one of you guys said you wanted a review of course i was like well i'm down here anyways let's go and check it out um so anyways this is the beauty blender bounce and i'm just going to show you we put it all over um the skin and i have to say i just the finish of it is super pretty i just feel like it's really flawless um i i was just like woo and i think that that shade range um it's looking a little light on camera let's go from back here guys okay here is from out here what it looks like and today you can kind of see because my neck is always going to be a little bit different i do not have any other um, bronzer or blush or anything else on we took off that we kept on my eyeballs because you know we keep those on but um, here I'm gonna see if I can do a little close-up for you and again I will do a um, I did get a sample because they were sold out of the foundation but I'm tempted to go ahead and order it but I'm probably jumping the gun but I just thought it seemed like such a pretty finish. Um, can you guys see? I just feel like it looks really nice on the skin. Um, it's perfecting the skin, that's what I want. And so far it does not feel dry um, and it's comfortable. But we will do a whole wear test, but I did get a little sample here from Sephora. Beauty Blender Bounce in 240 and just wanted to pop on and I will be back with the full. We'll do a whole wear test for you guys. Okay, okay guys, let's do this um, bounce. Now I've got to get the correct name. Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. Um, Thank you for the suggestion because I have been wanting to try this guy for a while and um, I'm always happy to do um, try new foundations for you and let you know. So you guys, this one, um, 
I wanted to, so far they have already put it on as I gave you a little sneak peek the other day, um, but I wanted to do a whole wear test for you. So I wanna give you just a little bit more information about this. Um, it says it is full coverage, which is not necessarily what I normally like. It also says matte, which is again, not normally what I like for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin. But the reason I really, I ended up really liking it the day she put it on me is it has hyaluronic acid, which is going to um, support natural moisture um, and help prep skin for a smooth canvas. <laughs> it has white birch extra, extract, which soothes and brightens skin, which I need that. Um, and then you guys, the reason I was intrigued by this previously is that it's free of mineral oil, sulfites, SLS, um, SLES, parabens, formaldehyde, um, phthalates, retinol palmitate, um, oxybenzoine, benzenoin, um, that's coal, tar, hydroquinone, triclosan, um, fragrance, which is a big one for me. So um, welcome to my channel if you have not been here before. But I am 50 years old and um, and I have moody skin, I like to call it. But as you will see today, I've got a little honker down here, but I believe it's hormonal. So um, <laughs> anyhow, I wanted to go ahead. I got a little sample because they actually did not have my color and I guess I before I went and ordered this I wanted to see what you guys thought about this as well so we're gonna go ahead and pop some of this guy on I am actually in um, we matched me to um, 2.4 which is medium with neutral olive undertones and you guys, I never really thought of myself as having olive undertones. I always usually go for medium with neutral golden undertones, but we tried 2.2 with um, medium with neutral olive, 2.3 medium with warm yellow undertones, and the 2.4, and the 2.4 like literally was so awesome in color correcting. So I'm gonna dab this on my skin, but also give you a swatch on my wrist. And you guys, it has a super creamy, like when it calls it whipped, it does feel whipped. Um, so let's see right here. I don't know, I really liked the, the color and you guys, it really, I, I don't know if it was just, the day, I don't know, the finish was amazing. So maybe I do like these um, long wearing matte. I don't know, this one's very comfortable. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and dab a little bit of this on. Now, one thing is, is um, this is super, like when it does say whipped and bouncy, I would say that is true and that a little goes a long way. I do not think you need a lot. And I'm sorry, I can't show you how it comes out in the cool, um, package that it comes with. It has like a little spout to put right on your beauty blender. Um, but I was going to have to order this. So once I do, if we decide that it is a good match, um, we will do that. So I have a wet beauty blender. Sorry guys, it's kind of an ugly one. Um, <laughs> it's clean. It is just uh, a damp beauty blender. And I just wanna show you, I'm gonna to try to get up here as close as possible. And I'm just going to bounce this in. There's my little honker right there. And I just wanna show you how this was such a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, canvas. Let me move you guys back up. Let's do my forehead and I'm just going to be bouncing this all around, but it just was such a pretty finish. Like I just kind of felt like my skin looked really healthy. Can you see that? It obviously has really, really nice coverage to it. Um, so yes, this is more, probably I like it because it's usually more coverage than I'm used to, but I did not find that, um, so I did wear it all day already. Um, that day when she put it on um, and it wore really nicely. So the wear time for sure 
is long wearing. I never keep my makeup on for 24 hours. Oh, whenever they say that, those kind of claims, I'm like, well, why would I want to wear my makeup for 24 hours? Um, but can you guys see this coverage? Okay. I am, we'll put, let me just look in the mirror. I actually don't know if I do want to put any more on. That's what I'm saying. A little, little, little goes a long way. Maybe we'll just use some that's on my wrist um, for my honker down here. Um, I rarely get little honkers, but um, you know, the beauty of getting older, you get to have shifty teeth. <laughs> I don't think I've shared with you that I, I had to go to the orthodontist and they want me to get braces and do oral surgery. Um, I just don't know, you guys. I already have had braces twice already. Um, and, you know, this getting older stuff is just sort of, I was laughing. I'm like, good, I get to have zits and get braces um, at the lovely age of 50. <laughs> oh, I have not decided whether I'm going to. Time to get a second opinion. Okay, so you guys, here is the coverage. And again, I'm just gonna pull it down. But can you see, it says it's a matte finish, but I felt like, I felt like it was more velvet, that it just, it covers your skin so nicely, but I don't, it does not feel cakey whatsoever. Um, I did go ahead, I just had on, I forgot to tell you, I have no primers on just my SPF, um, and wow, I just honestly, you guys, this just covers so nicely, but I did not, I do not feel, I think it's just smoothing, like when it says smoothing of the canvas, um, I think it does. So I'm gonna move out just a little bit so you guys can see, and see what you think. From Here's from far, um, and as I'm saying, I feel like it's still, gives me, um, I wouldn't say like super radiant, but it's not flat. Like right now, um, I would not say, I'm gonna put on some bronzer and such um, on my face, but I am absolutely loving the coverage. It is so nice and it feels so light to the touch. Um, and I really like the match too. I like that color match. So. If you have been curious, I am going to go ahead and put some bronzer, finish off my makeup look, and then I will be right back and we can talk about one more thing that I got um, that is on my lips and I'm absolutely in love with it. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just put on a little bit of bronzer, a little pot de pêche, and uh, so this is the finished product for today. You guys, I am really loving the finish. Can you see it just, now I did put a little pot de pêche on it, but I guess what I'm saying is, is I don't feel like it's flat. It obviously really took away um, a lot of my imperfections. It feels so light. You do not feel like you're wearing makeup whatsoever. Um, yay! You guys, thank you for your suggestions because I had been wanting to try that too. <laughs> um, so right now, I am wanting to go ahead and order this, but I'm gonna wait till we do the full wear test and then you guys, you can let me know if you think that the color is a good match and if you think that this is a, um, if you would say yes on this foundation. As you know, I probably do not need another foundation, but. Hey, that's what I'm like. Okay, so, oh, that's my love. There's always something good, but I really am seriously liking this. Um, I'm liking the finish so much, and um, just I really love the evenness of the skin. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about, you guys, is I just did this whole lip product video um, just the other day, but then when we were downtown, um, Charlotte Tilbury came out with a new lipstick called Superstar Lips. Um, and you guys, I absolutely, I'm a big fan, obviously, of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, but I was telling you about those Marc Jacobs enamored 
lip gloss lipsticks, which I really love because I love the glossy finish. But this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Superstar Lips, I got it in Pillow Talk. And you guys, I am in love. Like, uh, seriously, I think that you, everybody needs to go and get one. Number one it is perfect for little lips because it is nice and slender. Can you see that? Let's see. Um, and it just has easy, so comfortable. But do you see how it gives a little bit of pigment? The reason I never bought Pillow Talk before was I felt like it almost was a little bit too peachy for my skin tone or uh, I tend to go a little bit more on the pinky, mauve colors. And this one is a little different. The woman at the store even said, this one is pulling, as you can, it's still a peachy pink nude, but as you can see, it pulls a little bit more mauve. Oh, do you like how I just put it on the foundation swatch? That's all right. <laughs> Um, I just think this is such a great, do you see how it's so moisturizing, um, so comfortable, and it also leaves just almost like a little bit of stain on your lips. So it's one of these sheer, sheer-ish formulations that is super, it's a, it's a glossy lipstick, which I really like those for my aging lips. Um, let me just give you a little bit more information about this guy. Um, let's see, a dreamy nude pink lipstick with a brand new texture combining high, the high shine of a gloss and the staying powder of a lip, um, power of a lipstick. This innovative cushy texture glides onto your lips with a creamy feel with a luminous, <laughs> rich, glossy finish to create ultra defined, fuller lip looking lips instantly. So this is limited edition. Um, online already on the Charlotte Tilbury site, Pillow Talk is sold out. And I did get, get mine at Nordstrom's and they did have it. Um, but I almost have to say, this is something that I might wanna buy a backup of. I'm probably not going to just cause you know, there's a million other lip products out there, but I do have to say, I think I wanna get another one of these cause I am loving them. Um, I wore it all day yesterday and as it wears down, it gets less glossy, but it leaves just a little bit of stain on your lips. So I really liked that. Um, the other colors that they had that I thought about getting um, there, I was in between Pillow Talk and Walk of Shame. Um, and Walk of Shame is just, let me see what it describes it as. Um, Walk of Shame is a berry rose pink lipstick. I did like that. Um, I wasn't, between the two of them, I really wanted Pillow Talk. Again, cause you know, I buy the same um, lipstick shade, just in different formulations and different tubes. <laughs> um, I did not, they had Happy Lips, which is a more of a coral shade. I don't feel like coral looks the best on me, so that's not it. Um, they have it in Confident Lips. They didn't have a sample of that, and that's gonna be a really deep berry lipstick, which I kinda wanna get for fall. Like, I, I don't wear a lot of dark lipstick, but I kind of am into that. I think it's just gonna give a really nice wash of color, and I like that plum. Um, and then Wild Lips, which they did not have at my Nordstrom, but that says Wild Lips is a new berry pink lipstick. Um, wild by name and wild by nature. <laughs> some of these things, some of the descriptions are so funny. Um, and then there is one called Sexy Lips. And again, they do not have that. Um, and I guess that's more of a nude peach lipstick that oozes sex appeal. This is on her website, by the way. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I have to say I am so in love with this formulation that I definitely think either Walk of Shame or Confident Lips, um, I think I'm going to have to get one because I am so, just so enjoying this formulation. I think the um, Pillow Talk, I like this one a little better than the Matte Revolution. There's just, it's pulling a little bit more on the um, pink 
mauve -y that looks a little bit better on my skin tone. Um, but anyway, so in love with those. I think we should, since it is limited edition, I would definitely say go and give one of those a try. And you guys, I am going to do a full wear test today of this Bounce um, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. But I have to say so far, um, I am really loving the coverage and the feel on the skin. So I'll be back and we can kind of take a peek and see how it wears the rest of the day. But so far, thumbs up. Okay, guys, I am back and I'm doing a little check-in for you today. So this has been on my face for about four hours. Um, and I'm still really liking it. Um, gonna give you a little close up. Kind of can see a little bit of my natural oils are coming through the T zone. Um, let me look in the mirror real quick. And the only thing is, I think I put a little bit too much down in my chin area. Um, Cause I'm feeling like it looks a little, I'm feeling like you can see the makeup. Um, and I probably did that because I've got this lovely honker here, but I'm just gonna see if you guys can see. Um, I'm trying to zoom it in just a little bit. Um, it is feeling, it does not feel heavy, but I feel like you can see uh, that I am wearing makeup. I mean, obviously I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> Um, but I kind of was globbing it down on my chin area and over where I have some fine lines through my smile lines. I feel like I can see that coverage of the makeup on me, but I have to say, I think that might have been a user error, i.e. me, um, just putting on a little bit much. Um, but otherwise, I have to say, from far away, let's get you posted out here. From far away, I feel like it looks really nice. Um, I feel like, again, I'm getting, a, it's not too matte. I think that would be my main thing that I am liking about this is that I don't tend to go for that matte kind of foundation because I just feel like on older skin, it does not <laughs> matte and aging and mature skin sort of do not go together. Um, I'm always wanting to think about more hydrating foundations, more dewy. Um, and so I'm just kind of surprised at how much I'm really enjoying the coverage of this. And again, you guys, it does not feel like anything on my skin. It's still super comfortable and I am not having, um, when a foundation um, doesn't react well with my skin. I will start kind of feeling it so far. I am not feeling anything like that um, And you guys I don't think this little honker um, Little zit over here is due to that um, Hormonal stuff going on and I also had some dairy this weekend <laughs> um, I, uh, I know my body pretty well. So if I'm gonna eat certain things it is going to bring up uh, some skincare issues. So anyways, I will check in one more time, but so far I have to say, I think the wear time is lovely. I think I put a little bit too much on originally, um, especially I'm just, I'm, I am feeling like you can see the cup. Hey guys, I am popping in for one last check-in. I have had this on for an additional uh, three and a half hours. So this is a full day of wear for me. Um, and I just want to see final conclusion is that I'm going to have you come up close. So I think this is a really pretty foundation. If you are looking for a full foundation, full coverage, um, I think I'm going to try to get close up. I'm feeling like it looks a little cakey. Not totally cakey, but I can definitely see that I have foundation on my face. Um, it is not horrible whatsoever, but in just kind of in this cheek area over here, I just feel like, you know, it looks like I've got makeup on. I, I do. <laughs> um, 
but I feel like in a little bit, and it could again be that I put too much on. Um, so if I was going to purchase this, and I'll let you, you guys can tell me if you think I should go ahead and purchase, I just don't know if this is gonna be my day-to-day -day foundation. Um, I think it looks super pretty. I love the coverage, um, but I do feel like you can, you can see that I'm, there's a little telltale sign that I'm wearing um, more, <laughs> more. I'm really seeing it on this side, uh, more makeup than I normally wear. And again, it could be just because I put too much on. But um, uh, so that is my final conclusion. I just wanted to give you a final check-in. I do have to say, I think it's super comfortable, a really nice full coverage foundation. I don't find it to be super matte, which is really nice. Um, but I am just, I don't like that cake face and I always just worry that, you know, getting through here, I just feel like I'm looking, um, you know, just, it's definitely showing a little bit of wear in my wrinkles and um, as the day has gone on. Nothing horrible, but um, I'm just, I'm feeling like you can definitely see some coverage or some wear in my little area right here. Um, okay, you guys, I hope this was helpful. And again, a definite yes was Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips. Love that, I just put a slick on a little bit more. Um, and then I will say yes, I think it's a very pretty foundation. I just wanna know if you think I should buy it or not. <laughs> okay, have a great evening and I will check in with you guys um, this week.